Welcome guys to a new let's play. I'm doing I'm doing this a, a series. I'm doing uh, the first season of The Walking Dead. Um, I actually have the season two in my PS4 next to me. Season two, season four. Is it a season four? Okay, never mind. <laughs> season two. I'm doing this because you know it's a special. I'm doing this because I started with The Walking Dead, and um, I mean, I didn't start this as a walking dead. I did the let's play earlier on before all of this, before I had all these equipment in my channel, but I took it all down because it was horrible quality. Um, I'm doing this because I started with the Tall Tale games on my channel, and I want to do it a special because I want to thank you all for letting me reach seven, 607 subscribers. And uh, yeah. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm actually doing the whole series because I know season three is coming out soon, and I'm doing. And the bad thing is, whatever decision happens at the end of the let's play, of the season one won't, won't affect on season two because it's in a different system. It's in the PS4, and I want to, you know, yeah. Let's continue. Let's actually start the let. Uh, uh, let's do standard. Yeah. Episode one: A new day. Previously on The Walking Dead. The game series adapt to the choices you make of the story's tailor how the way to play the blip the bloop. Damn it. Association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Episode 1. A New Day. Give me a second folks, I wanna lower the volume a little bit so you can hear me better. Uh, yeah, cause it's really loud on my end. Music. Lower that to a five. To a five. Into a five. I think I could hear myself better now. And I bet you can hear me a little bit better or not at all, but I can actually hear the game better. <laughs> It's Lee. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Probably not. Does it really matter? Yeah. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Eh, not for me, I guess. Seriously? Yeah, not for me. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough? Eh, I don't know. Probably. We got what looks like a 1091E here, PG3X, 285. All cars have to keep on the lookout for a 91 in the area. Followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Oh, you from making man? You're from making man. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. He had it coming. A real shame. He had it coming. <laughs> what the hell? The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Hey, you knew Still my parents? There? Sure is. Good. Mm. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. That's a very long time. You meet your wife in Athens? She doesn't want to talk about it. Like, nope. You want to know how I see it? Sure, why not? Sure. Not really. <laughs> Not regardless. Really. Could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> exactly like fuck you. 
<laughs> what the hell is going on? Talk to him. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Turn off that radio, man. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Did he do it? So he, yeah. So did, did he, he do, do it? it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. God damn. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. Dude, this watch the road. Holy crap, watch the road. More hilarious watch the road. Watch out! This other time... a little bit too high still. Sorry about that. <laughs> you guys can hear it perfectly. I'm just, we're not trying to like listen to it and hear myself speak because with high volume like that, it's really hard for me to like do it. Come on, Lee, wake up. Wake the hell up, dude. Shit. Thirsty. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, fuck. My leg. <laughs> oh, crap. No way. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here. Oh, he's dead, dude. Forget about it. Kick the door open. <laughs> wow, that glass just broke like nothing. Holy crap. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh, that was my phone, sorry about that folks. Um two. Mm. Damn. That's a steep fall, holy shit. forward everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be all right move towards the officer who's probably dead and turning into a zombie in any second probably officer God damn. officer officer God damn. Uh. shit got the keys grab the ICU grab it Come on. Shit. You fucking idiot. You freaking letter. Next to his face. No. Good reflexes, man. Good reflexes. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit. No. Oh fuck. Oh god. No, 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 no. Move back. Move back. Holy cow. Shotgun shell. Okay. Okay, what do you got? Good idea. Get the gun. Get the shell. Get the Okay. Get the gun now. Oh. Ah, oh, you you're so clumsy, Lee, dude. Come on. Come on, get it. Get it before he gets you. Get it before he gets you. Come on. Shoot him. Shoot his ass. Shoot his ass. Shoot his ass. Victory. Wow. Who the fuck? Who the hell is that? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Okay. What the fuck? Oh shit. Dude, run like hell. Dude, Lee, come on. Probably you can hear me a little bit better now. Oh my god, where are we? Where the hell's gunshots at? Where the hell those gunshots are coming from? Probably everybody's dead. What the hell? Let's just look around and stuff. Tea party. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. You drunk motherfucker, you. Let me just look around first before we talk to the treehouse. Damn, man, you need, you need some help with that leg, bro. Literally. Help! Oh, sorry, folks, about this one, mate. Yeah. Let me see. Anybody up there? Probably a little girl who's scared for her life. <coughs> Come down. <coughs> sorry about that. <laughs> If you can hear me. Damn, Lee, you're so desperate <laughs> for help. Let's see. Go, go, go inside. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. The door is open. You can do it. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? I feel you. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. You are breaking into a house and you have a messed up leg, so they're probably gonna think you are a zombie and you're probably an intruder, so don't say you're not. <laughs> it's a pony. Hey, Sandra, I'm 
Petra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. But anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us, all the man. calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us Walkie anything about Atlanta. It. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. This is 911. We love you. We love you. Dude. We love you. Fuck, dude. Daddy? Huh? What the fuck? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Treehouse? Uh, how old are you? How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh... Thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Lee Everett. Where are your parents at? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you Where at? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. Called it. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh shit, what the fuck is going on? Oh, oh god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I used to... Oof. Oh, what the fuck is that? Kick her ass. Kick her ass, man. Oh my god. Ooh. Punch it. Punch her. Oh god. Oh. Get it. Oh. Punch her. Oh. Nasty. Gruesome. Zombifying. That looks ugly. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? <laughs> yeah. Something else did. <laughs> I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, Yeah. I don't know what happened. They're dead. But I'll They're look after dead. you until then. What should we do now? Look out before it gets dark or get out of here once before the sun goes down. Well, if you get out of the house after the sun goes down, there's going to be a lot more zombies on the road because it is the obvious thing to a TV show or a game because they know The Walking Dead. And if you go out now, you're probably going to be safer because there are going to be less zombies and 
probably more people in daytime. So I'm just going to cut it out of here and I'll do this decision in the next episode. Stay frosty and mental and watch for the next episode. Bye, folks.